Hi friends. So today we're going to read a book on Epic again. I hope you enjoy it. Let's share the screen and check our book. And here we go. It's called The Art Collector by Jan Wall and illustrated by Rosalind Bonet. When Oscar was very, very small, Great Granny took a piece of paper. She, be, she took a crayon and began making lines. Some were straight, some were curving, and soon, in a minute or two, it was not a blank piece of paper. It was a chicken. It was magic. Oscar watched and clapped his hands. Clap, clap, clap. Can I do it, he asked. You can try, said Great Granny, and she handed him the crayon. Oscar had made many lines, short and long, on another piece of paper. The crayon slid and swirled and danced. What he made was not a chicken. In fact, it didn't look like anything. Oscar frowned and he crumpled it up. Look, he looks upset. Look at those action lines, all frayed and worried. With his arms crossed. Great Granny handed him a sheet of black paper and a stick of white chalk. Try again, she said. The stick of chalk hopped all over the sheet of black paper. Oscar was about to tear it up. I still don't have a chicken, he grumbled. Great Granny looked carefully with her good eye. Then she put on her glasses and held the paper this way. Hmm, and this way. Well, you have made a very fine picture of a snowstorm on a very dark night. Ma and Pa framed it and hung it for visitors to admire. They also framed Great Granny's red chicken. Some people preferred the snow scene. Many liked both. Great Granny's visit was over, but Oscar kept the chicken. He thought her drawing was better than his, and he liked looking at it. Oscar liked to go with his parents on, to Sunday shows where artists sold pictures. They also took him to flea markets too. See, here's the artists, and here's the flea market with all the old things that people are buying. Oscar found an old etching in a beat up frame. It was a steam train with a building and a water wheel. Oscar heard the sound of the wheel turning in the, on the water. Here it is right here. The etching cost $1. Oscar counted out his coins and tugged at Pa. I must have it, he said. Will you lend me the rest? I'll pull out weeds and help Ma too. Oscar had bought his first picture. After taking it home and dusting it off, he saw the glass had a crack. So they took the etching of the steam and building and water wheel to the framers. And here's the framer, and look, he's picking out his frames. Look here, he's helping his mom plant and pull weeds. The new frame and glass and better backing and wire to hang it cost more than the picture. Oscar had to pull many, many weeds. But he could see the picture a lot better, and he liked looking at it. Slowly, the years passed, Oscar grew taller. He kept collecting until pictures hung on every wall of his room. Look at all the pictures, friends. His room is covered. In one painting, four geese honked. In a Japanese woodcut, a bamboo, bamboo lute strummed under a round moon. In one drawing, leave whistled in the wild wind. And in some, just plain circles sang. In circles and puffs of color and oblong shapes. And Oscars looked, the pictures changed in front of him. Now a forest had more trees. And yesterday that lady wore a pink hat. Today it was yellow, or was it purple, orange, or magenta? Boy, he's very creative, looking at different things with his paintings. At night, before turning off the lamp, he waved at his pictures and the room became quiet and the pictures slept too. Do you think your pictures sleep at night too? Who knows? <laughs> and when he grew up and moved away, Oscar packed them all, wrapping each one in thick brown paper so it wouldn't break. He loved his pictures, every single one. As years passed and his collection became famous, newspapers wrote about it, Oscar's collection grew and grew and grew until a museum had to be built to hold it. Look at all of his pictures in a museum. Oscar kept one picture for himself, and he loved looking at it. 
Do you see which one he kept? It was great grandma's picture. And look, it looks like he's an older man now too with his granddaughter. Wasn't that a nice story, friends? I really liked it. I think it was a great story about collecting art and all the art you have on the walls. Maybe take a look at the art you have on your walls and see what you think about it. And maybe it'll sleep at night. Okay, that's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.